Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this fall inspired look and some info on my hair. So if you're interested in this video, stick around and keep on watching. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah. So first things first, my hair. I know, trust me, I feel the same way. Like I've never seen myself like this. I am trying to get used to this. I keep looking in the mirror. It's beautiful. You know, it is fun. It's a lot of fun. It's very, very different. I have never tried anything like this in all my years that I've been on YouTube. You have, you guys yourself have never seen me in a color like this. So it's a first time for us both, okay? So first of all, the hair is from dresslily.com. I will have all the information on how I feel about this wig in the description box. Um, it is a lace front wig, it's not full lace, and there's a little bit of lace in the nape. I did cut the lace, it does come pre-plucked, and it comes like this. This is the color that it comes in, you know, and it's just one unit, and you're good to go. I did go in and I did do a little bit more plucking, and I feel like I need to do a little bit more plucking in the, in the part area. But other than that, I absolutely love the way it looks, you know. And I hardly did any plucking on the on the hairline, like, you know. And it is human hair. I've always wanted to try red hair. What better way to try than with a wig? So I was really, really glad that Dress Lily reached out to me and they had this on their website. I just, I just, I went for it right away. I absolutely love it. You know, if you want to try something, definitely this is the way to go. Anyways, in the description box, I will have my full thoughts. You guys know that I don't, I no longer do in-depth reviews on hair because... I just have a, a checklist of things that I look for in hair and once I have tried out that hair and trust me you don't have to try it out for a long time to know exactly how it's going to hold up you can tell right away if that hair is good hair or bad hair because bad hair will kick up a storm immediately okay especially if you made the wig and you put it on it will kick up a storm immediately you don't have to wonder okay you will know anyways you guys already know if it's good hair it's on my head go ahead and check out dresslily.com i will have the link and info and everything on this unit in the description box so please make sure that you open that up if you really want to know what I look for in here I always have a little checklist in the description box so just open that up and you're good to go without further ado let's get right on into this makeup tutorial which was truly not planned to match this hair <laughs> Okay, so I already did my brows off camera, so the next thing I'm going to do is go in and clean up under my brows. And I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Cool Tan and an angled synthetic brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and swipe this color right underneath that brow to make it nice and sharp. And then I'm going to start to just drag it down to blend it out. After that, taking my Black Opal Concealer in Tan, I'm just going to swipe this all over my lid as well as my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with a fluffy <laughs> synthetic brush to blend all of that out. So now that I have that, I'm going to be taking my Ben Nye Banana Powder and Topaz, which I have mixed up in a little jar, and I'm going to use a really nice fluffy brush, and I'm going to blend this right into the crease, as well as on my brow bone area, and this is just going to create a slip for my eyeshadows to have something really easy to blend on. Make sense? <laughs> Next, I'm going to go into the Juvia's Place palette and I'm going to be taking the color Zakia. I'm going to apply this right into my crease and a little bit above it. This is going to act as my transition color as well as my crease color because I don't want this look to be too heavy, seeing that my hair is very colorful. So I don't want to go heavy on the eyes, I'd rather stay light. So this is going to be like the only color that I apply into my crease. And with the least amount of pressure on the brush, I'm going to start to feather out those edges and blend that area out. Okay, after that, I'm going to take my LA Girl Concealer, Pro Concealer in Warm Honey. And I'm literally just going to start to cut the crease with this. And I'm using a flat synthetic brush to do so. Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to be going into the color called Nubia. And I'm using another flat synthetic brush to really help pack this on. And at first, I'm just going to press it in to make sure that I keep the line sharp. So, yeah, just... just Okay. <laughs> okay, with a flat shade of brush, I'm going to be going into the shade called Koji. And I'm just going to go in and start to blend out that gold and orangey color. And this is like a deep corally color, but it's also on the bright side. Like when you look in the palette, it looks kind of muted. But when you do touch it and play with it, 
you can tell it's actually kind of bright. And then I'm going to switch brushes with a mini dome brush. I'm just going to blend the outer V area with that same Koji color. And for my lower lash line, I'm just going to go ahead and add Koji right across and connect it. And for my tear duct area, I am going to be taking the color Zuba and I'm just going to pop that right in there. And I'm also going to blend that slightly above the gold right in the inner corner. Okay, so here's a little something that I like to do to help me line my eyes perfectly. Because my lashes are so curly, sometimes they tend to get in the way of the brush of the liner and it doesn't create like a, a smooth line as well as a lot of the product from the liner gets caught in my lashes and I just don't like it like that. So I like to take a, what is this? <laughs> An eyelash curler, but it's like this type, like the clamping type, I don't know. It's just a little bit different from the regular ones and I like to hold it upside down and because it's this type it's like it's really easy to hold upside down and I like to basically just back curl my lashes and straighten them out a bit which is the complete opposite of what a lot of people do which is curl their lashes but this just really helps with liner like it makes the application so much more smoother and easier and the space a lot easier to get into. Okay, so now that I've straightened out my lashes to help me with this step, I'm gonna be taking my NYC liquid liner. I'm just gonna go in and create a really thick wing. And I can't talk for this section, so bear with me. And now it's time for me to apply my lashes. And today I am stacking again, and these are the Vegas Nay and Lash XO Lucky Lola lashes. Okay, so for my face, I'm gonna be using the Nivea Cream once again and I'm just gonna go in and moisturize my face with this and for my primer today I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty primer because I absolutely love this stuff I love the way it makes my face and makeup and everything looks it's really a good buy I would definitely recommend the product like no lie I'm using it <laughs> so this step is completely optional but I absolutely love this step and I don't think I'm ever gonna go a day without this step until they start to make a primer that actually can do this step I haven't tried one if you know of one then definitely let me know but other than that I probably still would continue to do this step now instead of using my air spun powder I'm gonna be using the NARS mountain powder because I just want to show you that you can use whatever powder you have you don't have to go as crazy and as white as I do but I do love the air spun powder I love the way it's smells I love everything about it it's just really really lightweight but this is also a lightweight powder and this is the NARS mountain powder and I'm gonna press this all over my face I absolutely love this step I think I'm never gonna go a day without this step so yeah, somebody asks, what does this step really do? It diminishes fine lines, it fills your pores, like it just makes it so smooth and so flawless and it is a beautiful matte finish. To each his own, you do not have to do this step, but I absolutely love this little trick. It just makes your foundation, it looks amazing like no lie and I'm really pressing this into the skin. I'm telling you, you have to try this step, like try it at least once you know just once and tell me what you think and for my foundation I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty foundation and you guys probably can't see that but I have got it down to here like there's a little line to show you. I'm using this thing I love this foundation this foundation is so lightweight it is so smooth it looks flawless it looks like skin even though I'm doing this step it just looks amazing even without this because the first time that I did do this I still didn't know of this trick yet <laughs> this is just a beautiful beautiful foundation you have to shake it up. I just, I need to get like a couple more shades to really try to find my shade. When I apply this, I'm gonna look super, super orange, but don't worry. I've been working with it for a while and I make it work, okay? And for my concealer, my under eye highlight, basically to highlight my face, I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation and this is in the shade Medium 57. And like I said, this thing is just so thick. Like it's just ridiculously thick. So basically all I'm going to do is apply this under my eyes, down my nose, center of my forehead, a little bit above my lip and my chin. You have to work with Kat Von D really fast. It's something that dries really, really quick and I don't know why I'm talking to you. I should be doing it because this thing plays no games. And just so you know, these red brushes and green brushes that you see me playing with today are by are from Juvia's Place, I should say. Now to set and bake my under eyes, as usual, I'm gonna be using the Sasha Buttercup powder and yeah, I'm just gonna press this all over my face in the areas that I highlighted, basically. So to contour my face, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Pro Pro Matte Powder. I'm just gonna contour and warm up my face with this product and my jawline. Like, never forget your jawline. To set my face and to bring everything together and to dust away this highlighting powder, I am going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in Medium Deep. 
And to contour my nose, as usual, I'm going to be using the Milani powder in caramel. And as usual, I'm going to be switching to a flat shader brush. And I'm just going to take some of that color on one side, some of the product, and just hug the corner of my nose and bring it around like so. But I just love the way that it makes my nose look like it's, there's, there's definitely a difference there. Okay, so for my blush today, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Palette, and this is Volume 2. And the color that I'm going to be taking is called Tau, and it's just this orangey color right over here. You guys know I love me a good orange blush, so orange blushes are just... They are bomb on brown skin, you have no idea. Now that I'm done with all my face powders, this is the time that I would normally go in and remove the dust from out of my eyebrows. And I'm just using a clear mascara and I'm setting my brows in place at the same time. So you see it kind of brings the brow back to life. And I tried really hard to keep my brows soft because my hair is already so bright and looking crazy. And for my mascara today, as usual, I am using the Maybelline Mascara in the blue container. I'm just going to go ahead and start to blend my lashes with the false lashes. You know like how I showed you the back curl system? Like this mascara, I think because it's not waterproof, it also helps to, you know, curl back my lashes and push them up. So it helps to revert them back to their original state so they're just not pointing down and sticking out you know and don't forget your lower lash line and I'm, I'm always in like i'm always blocking you guys when i do this step okay so for my lips playing with two lip colors today one is by la splash and this one is called till midnight okay and there's nothing midnighty about this and the other one is by lime crime and this is called suede berry okay so First, I'm gonna go in with the LA Splash one, and this is basically gonna act as a liner. Barkley's making noise. We're not gonna pay him any mind. We're not gonna pay him any mind whatsoever. Okay, so for the center of my lip, I am going to be using the Lime Crime Suede Berry Matte Velveteen Lip Stick thingy okay so that is it for this makeup tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching thank you so much for sticking with me i hope you can take away something from this video i love you guys and until the next video take care of yourselves and i'll see you real soon her body's go like september she burns through the night like an ember and all those things we try forgetting i remember but we say we all fine we Lemonade, I serve it up, it goes down 75 degrees in a dope sound All you need to live fine, to live fine A little sunshine, cause she need it A dose of rainfall in the evening The waves crash down and we feel them Say here's to the nights, we steal them And I be running cause I figured out The more I slow down, the less I get out And if we fall, let's be strong now Moving along, we don't mind